Smithsonite in a nutshell, a brief mineralogical guide. This mineral used to be called calamine. However, between 1802 to 1803 British scientist James Smithson made an important contribution in identifying its main chemical components and distinguished it as a unique mineral. Hence it is called Smithsonite in his honor. It is a zinc carbonate mineral consisting of repeating units. Given this, it has a variety of crystal type formations from which the massive type of habits are the most common in nature. The presence and various configurations of zinc allow it to exist in a wide variety of colors, which include white, gray, yellow, green, purple, pink, and even orange to brown colors. In a nutshell, smithsonite is a carbonate group mineral consisting of zinc carbonate units, it has perfect rhombohedral cleavage, a MOS hardness between 4.0 to 4.5, an SG between 4.3 and 4.45, a subconchoidal to uneven fracture, and a trigonal crystallization. Since it forms in oxidized copper zinc deposits, it is associated with minerals such as malachite, azurite, pyromorphite, cerussite, and hemomorphite which tends to be confused with smithsonite. Top quality crystals, not to be confused with their common massive habit, can be found in the mines of Tsumeb in Namibia as well as in Zambia. However, its massive habit can be found all around the globe. If you would like to know more about this or any mineral make sure you check mine out in the description below. Make sure you like and subscribe, and comment what mineral you would like to learn about next.